Yes, everybody, and welcome back to another Daily Drop brought to you by Tar Heel Illustrated. Com. I'm THI staff writer Jacob Turner. Joining me as he always does, it's our very own publisher, Andrew Jones and AJ. We're here for a Carolina basketball-related drop, and we're going to be talking about chemistry and some of Hubert Davis's comments about the chemistry on his team from his summer press conference last week. So, AJ, you were there in person with Trey. I- I've read the quotes. I've seen the video, but I'm, I'm going to let you take over from now to keep this thing moving. So talk to me about what were some of Hubert's comments about his the chemistry of this year's team, because from what I've read and what I've heard and what I've seen, some pretty high praise for the chemistry that he's seen from his team so far. And to me, that's a big time positive going into the season. Yeah, there is enough stuff in the press. We got 35 minutes with Hubert, which is which is a long time. That's Mac Brown esque. That's Mac Brown esque right there. That's just pretty impressive. It, it, it's it's on that. It, it's or maybe on that half path. of what it's Mac not, would do. Half of what Mac would do. I, I, I trust <laughs> me. If Mac did 35 minutes, a lot of us in the media be like, "Oh, what, is he not feeling well? He's already stopped." So <laughs> he's sick. Mac, Mac's good for 45 every time we get him, yeah, which is minimum. great because he gives us so much. He gives us so much information, but I thought we got a lot of information from Hubert last week for his summer press conference, enough so that in addition to our initial report, uh, Trey and I are going to get not getting nine stories out of it. And, uh, you know, we do a lot of singular path stories on something like this, but I think um, of the things that, that I took from it that might be most encouraging for Carolina fans would be the chemistry, the improved, the, the immediate chemistry of this group. Hubert said it happened right away. Mm. And what's interesting is you had four returning scholarship guys and you brought in so far, they brought in four uh, as of the summer press conference, Hubert was not allowed to speak about James or Conquo because he hadn't yet filled out his paperwork. So they're just saying, Hey, we got four transfers, two freshmen. When Okonkwo gets back to the States and hit, gets to Chapel Hill, He'll he'll fill out all the paperwork and everything will be fine. He'll he'll be a good good to go at that point. But as of the press conference, he wasn't. So they feel really good about what they brought in. I think it helps when you bring in a guy who's a graduate of Notre Dame and was a captain there. You bring in a guy who's a graduate of Brown and was a captain there. You bring in a guy who spent two years at Stanford, and then you bring in a guy like Jalen Withers who um, spent the last three years at Louisville. He's an older guy. He's playing a lot of basketball in the ACC and wanted to get into a situation where you just win. So they brought in four guys who I would think are pretty adaptable. They could adapt. They're the kinds of personalities of people who could adapt to a situation. And then when you think about the four kids that welcomed them into the program, Armando Armando is, is, is such a good dude, such a nice guy. He's going to have fun with just about anybody. I think RJ's maturity and RJ, I think more so making room for Elliot Cadeau is an important part of his mindset going into this off season or through this off season about what he wants to achieve next year. And then Trimble and Jalen, Seth Trimble and Jalen Washington, they're all into it too. I happened to see them in the hallway uh, after Hubert finished, I went down to the restroom there. You get to walk down the hallway, as you know, and the basketball weight room is over here to the left and um, a couple of the players were out in the hallway. Armando comes walking out of the weight room. He's with Jalen Withers. Had a nice little exchange with Armando. But you could just see a good – he says a good vibe. That's a, there, there was a lot of joking going on. There was a lot of laughing. There was a lot of comfortable comfort, of course. It's July. It was July 20th. So basketball teams are going to be optimistic and, and relaxed on July 20th. But it was a good vibe. It kind of backed up what Hubert was saying. And I happened to – Talked to Armando about it. I told him, I said, um, we're we're at the Hubert Summer Press there. And he's like, oh, you know, what do you have to say? And I said, he said, you guys have great chemistry. It happened immediately. He said, yeah, absolutely. So he backed it up. Like immediately he said, yeah, it just kind of, they came in and just like, we got, we got along, got into it right away. So I think that's a really good thing because when you have so much newness, if the chemistry stuff is there off the court and they all, don't mind being around each other. It's going to speed up the on-court chemistry stuff. Mm-hmm. When, when you have a bunch of guys who are there for one big purpose, they all have their individual purposes, but when they step on that court, the big purpose matters most, then they're going to build the on-court chemistry quicker. And they're using all their practices in July. Mm-hmm. And they're hoping that Oconquo is a part of the last couple that they're allowed to use 
So I think this has been a tremendous offseason for Carolina basketball and for Hubert. And what I learned during the press conference about how Hubert just overemphasized the chemistry issue. I know Hubert tends to be extraordinarily positive and overly positive and sometimes says things that make you think, yeah, okay, this is kind of Hubert speak. Mm -hmm. But I took this sincerely, especially because I just happened to run into Armando and Armando is not always going to tell you the positives. Armando is pretty straightforward. You keep it and real, yeah. Immediately, mm -hmm. yeah, and he immediately jumped into the positive about the chemistry. So I, I take it with more than a grain of salt. I take it pretty genuinely that that has happened this offseason. So that's one thing, like the top thing in the box you had to check off. The first would be talent. Second would be talent fit. The third would be chemistry. And the chemistry only matters if the first two things are there. Yeah. Yeah. No, you, you, uh, you're great point in missing talent. Number one, cause I don't care how good a chemistry I have. If you put me on that Carolina basketball team, I might be a great teammate. We ain't gonna win a lot of basketball games. If I'm running the yeah, point. THI has got wonderful <laughs> chemistry, but we're getting our ass kicked by everybody on that schedule. So yeah, exactly. Man. Well, my I love language. each other, but it, yeah, we ain't competing when it comes down to, to everything else. Cause we don't have the talent. No, and I, I think, and Huber deserves a lot of credit for it too. And I, I think, you know, it's been a, it's been a tough last year for the program. It's been a tough off season, you know, beside, I mean, not now necessarily, but before that with trying to rebuild the roster and guys transferring out, there's been a lot of changes and everything like that. And I think you have to give Hubert and the coaching staff credit because we've talked about it on the football side, a lot, AJ of it, how people love to fixate on the stars and the stats and w what's his star rank. Oh, he's a five star. Oh God. Yeah. He's going to be an all-star. It doesn't always translate into that. You have to want to, yeah, you have to get a kid who wants to be there for the right reasons. And especially in today's college basketball world and college sports world where you can get paid six figures in, to go to many other different programs around the country, which incentivizes other people. And maybe you get guys for the wrong reasons. So you have to give the staff credit for evaluating not only the talent that these players have, not only how can they fit into what we're trying to do, but number one, are they, are they a good fit for this program? Are they a good fit for what we already have on this roster? Cause again, you can have all the talent in the world, but everybody hates each other. Nobody gets along. You're not going to win too many basketball games. And we saw at times last year where maybe in hindsight, it was a little bit easier to see that maybe the chemistry wasn't great at times. And maybe we'll notice a big difference this year when we get into the season of like, Oh yeah, man, it was night and day compared to oh, chemistry on this team's great. And looking back, yeah, the chemistry on last year's team wasn't. And last thing I'll say too, AJ, I don't take too much credence in these clips that Carolina puts out. And I've said that a million times, but for whatever reason, I feel like you can almost pick up on the chemistry a little bit in some of the clips that have been released. I mean, it seems like there's a really competitive edge in these glimpses that we see, but it also seems like there's a lot of encouragement between teammates. There's a lot of celebrating. There's a lot of excitement and kind of guys having fun with each other, which means that they're getting along and don't, you know, hate each other out on the court. So I think you can, even from the outside looking in like fans are, they're not in these press conferences they're not in the bowels of the Smith center on a Wednesday or Thursday afternoon and get to see these little things that make it make even more sense. But I even think from the outside looking in, you can see some of these chemistry things coming together and players coming together in some of these small bite size packages that Carolina releases. So I think that's a major positive. And I also think like you mentioned, when you've got experience that you're bringing in and you've got some older heads that you're bringing in mixed with some really young talent to me, when you've got a little bit more older guys, like you said, captains as well, I think that chemistry can be a little bit easier to follow because it's guys that are mature. It's guys that are coming to the end of their careers in college. So what do they want to do? They want to have a successful time at North Carolina that can help build chemistry as well. So I, I think right now for, you know, we're, we're recording this in mid July. I think right now hearing that is great. We'll see what happens as Carolina gets into the late season. Like, uh, we're, are we, have we turned a corner in late July? I guess technically it's late July now. When does it switch over to the late part of the month? I guess technically it's late July now, yeah. But again, if chemistry is good in July, yeah. you hope that carries over to the season. I and know. I think it's I a big know. positive. I, I've always had a hard time. Like the 18th through the 22nd. I also think we just got a hit on the Zoom too, a little, a little staggered there for a we second. We did get a little staggered for uh, a second. We'll I, keep it moving. I take the video clips with a great. Yeah, I, I, I take the video clips with a grain of salt because I guarantee you that Prairie View's basketball account is putting out some clips right now and they're having a great time in practice too. So but that said, I'm glad I had a chance to see it in person last week and just accidentally feel for it because I, Hubert was done. I was going to go to the restroom and they're all out there and yeah. I just got a different vibe. And, and I, 
you know, I've known Armando a long time. I don't they are Armando's like, I'll be yes, me on something like that. I don't <laughs> no, think he's no. going to. It's not gonna say it if it's not true. Mm-hmm. He could have just said, Oh, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you'd be or like whatever. And I would have asked <laughs> and then I would have asked him about Elliot Cadeau, and <laughs> I never got to Elliot because the chemistry thing was pretty interesting. And then he said, We old, we old. And I think that I think the the experience and the age of this team helps with the chemistry because these guys are not there for the wrong reasons. They're all there for the right reasons. And they mm-hmm. want to win. I, if you think back to the to the how Brady approached his one year, I think Cormac Ryan's approaching his one year that way. If you th- I think Paxton Wojcik from a reserve standpoint is sort of approaching it that way. And then you got guys like Withers and Ingram. They have two more years of eligibility left. A Conquo has two and possibly three. I imagine if he applies for uh, a a fifth year, because for some reason West Virginia didn't register him his first year, and only played in a few games. I'm sure the NCAA will give it to him, so he could have three years left. Mm. So some of these guys are going to be there for a while, and uh, some of the other ones they got one shot. They want to win, so um, so I, I I buy into the chemistry thing. There's absolutely no doubt about it, and I also think that. Part of this is the R.J. Davis factor and Cadeau coming in. You have to – that could have been a chemistry wrecker. You and I did a podcast back in early May, I believe, where we talked about that, saying, you know, that's a concern. You know, you bring in Elliot Cadeau early, which, by the way, was not a done deal in March and April, like a lot of people said it. He had to play stuff out through the AAU circuit to really determine that, yeah, I think I want to make this move. And then they had to have a lot of conversations – as Hubert said, quote, straightforward and long conversations, end quote, uh, to make that happen. And RJ was the key. So if RJ going into his last year after being the point guard for two years was willing to step over to the two to bring this young phenom in, then that sends a message to everybody else. Yeah, sacrifice. And that helps chemistry because Mm -hmm. if you all embrace it, then that's chemistry. You know, being on the same page is chemistry. As far as last year's team not having chemistry, they just didn't mesh well on the court. I don't think that that was a, an unpleasant locker room all the time, but I know that there were some times where it was not. I know there were a couple of relationships that weren't great, and that's been taken care of. So um, I think right now they're off to a good start. It's going to be a long season. they got a few months to go before they are, are diving. In. Well, I guess they got two months before they dive into formal practice at the start of the season. But right now – as we head toward late July, I guess that's a good way to characterize where we are in the month. I, I think that they've gotten off to a really good start with this group. Yeah, agreed. You, you, if you can get positive chemistry talk in the middle of July, you'd expect that can continue to improve. That's what you want to hear in the offseason. You don't want to hear Hubert coming out and being like, yeah, nobody really likes each other, but we're working on it. So yeah, and he's not going to. No. I mean, they, they could have they could have been, you know, firing darts at each other 10 minutes before the press conference, and Hubert's gonna say, Oh, we love each other. Yeah, exactly. I, you know, we, we do cookout, we're going bowling, we're flying <laughs> kites together. I mean, Hubert's gonna go there, mm-hmm. which is why. Being there in person is so important. Learning to kind of get a feel for things and how to read people is such an important part of this business. And now that Hubert is in the year three, I feel like I've got a pretty decent hold on him. And and, and I, I think that a lot of times when he says super positive things, he's saying what he hopes without using the word hope, although he does use the word hope quite a bit. Uh, he said that, uh, about Seth Trimble uh, during the press so that he thinks he can be the best defensive player in the nation. Okay. That's a Hubertism. Maybe mm-hmm. Seth can, but he's got to get on the court to do so. And and we didn't always see that last year. So um, Hubert tends to do that. But I also think that there are times when he's completely genuine. And he's not doing BS earlier. I just think he speaks in the world of hope. Yeah. Not BS, not intentional BS, just hope. He speaks, mm-hmm. I hope, I hope, I hope. But I do believe that the chemistry stuff was genuine. And I'm so glad that I banged into Marquette or Marquette, excuse me, Armando. I don't know where Marquette came from, but I walked into our, I, I came upon Armando. Geez. I mean, this, we've had zoom lock up a few times in this. It's kind of yeah. throwing me off a little bit. I think the zoom is entered into my head. It's locked up yeah. my brain a little bit, but it's I'm glad that I ran into him. I'm glad I ran into him and uh, had that moment. So yeah. that's cool. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, we apologies for, we had a couple Audio has been fine for the most part, but video got a little choppy from time to time. Comes with the territory. We are planning on switching our streaming platform 
soonish as well. So hopefully that'll help improve yeah. it too a little bit. So we are we are working. We're making a lot of changes. Yeah, yeah, we're making a lot of changes. You've probably Stay seen tuned. some stuff that we've changed. New we're logo. Slowly roll it out. Slowly yeah. roll a bunch of stuff out. By the way, I haven't mentioned it. If you guys like the rebranding of the logo, just go ahead and like the video below. We want to get a little bit of a, a gauge on, the, on kind of the excitement about that. So, also the intro. Yeah, new intro as well. Yeah, yeah. Like that video below if you like the intro. Even go on our Twitter and let us know. Say, hey, guys, new intro is fire. Hit it with like a fire emoji or something like that. We want to know that you guys are picking up on it. So uh, put a lot of hours into that intro. I'm just kidding. It didn't take too long. But again, you know, trying to do some new things, trying to switch a few things up. So, um, you know, make it a little more appealing for everybody and keep, you know, keep growing this thing at THI. So appreciate y'all watching as always. Another daily drop. I've been Jacob Turner. He's been Andrew Jones. Make sure you like. Make sure you share. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well so you know every single time we upload. See you all next time. Thanks. Thanks.